Hello, this is Beverly from scrapandthread.blogspot.com. Today I wanted to show you some ways to hide some treasures in your albums. This picture under here is blurry, but I still wanted to include it, so I put it under a flip flap. In this album, I have a few different examples of hidden types of things. This first one is a kind of like a little tag booklet, and it has some photographs and some journaling, and um, that just fits straight down into that little pocket there, and you can retrieve it from the top of uh, the page, um, even if it's in the page protector. I try to make the interactive elements that go into my albums be uh, kind of an important part of that particular layout and I hope that it adds to the layout and doesn't detract from it. Uh, in this particular case I have a photograph that I wanted to include and didn't really have room for on the layout so I stuck it in a little pocket behind the other photograph. This next treasure isn't really a hidden treasure, it is right there in plain sight, but it's a little bit different way to include some memorabilia. I had printed off the map of Lake Michigan for that beach on some vellum paper and then included it as part of my layout. Another option would be to put a map in a pocket as part of the layout and, and hide it behind photographs or even put um, any memorabilia in between pages. There are loads of photographs in this layout and uh, they're kind of old, but I wanted to put them together in a two page layout rather than have it go on to additional pages. So I made some flaps, this is before the time of the flip flaps, and um, underneath there I put lots of extra pictures. It also has the title on the top part and on the left hand side is the other part of the title uh, that I've hand sewn with needle and thread. And then underneath is some of the journaling and some additional pictures. This next layout has a big file folder, uh, basically is what it is. It's called a True Fit Folio from Close to My Heart that's acid-free, lingon-free, and buffered. So it is safe for scrapbooking, but it's like a big file folder, and you can put memorabilia or other things that you want to hide um, behind uh, your layouts, and you can actually build your layouts on top of it. I'm, I'm showing you what how I've done that one, and I left a little tab there so you could see it really is like a file folder, um, and I will decorate that. I found this is a good way to save some school items that I want to be able to keep in the scrapbook but I don't necessarily want to see them on a regular basis. Report cards, things like that um, that we want to have uh, for the future. Sometimes you have a lot of pictures for an event and you want to have them in your scrapbook but you don't necessarily want to uh, put them in a regular layout. And there aren't really any rules for scrapbooking, um, so you can do whatever you want to. In this case, I made a little pocket behind uh, the picture for another picture. And then I also had a, some pocket protectors or page protectors that have lots of little uh, slots. There's six there, so I can put 12 extra pictures. and. I put it in between my two page layout so that it was obvious that these photographs went to that occasion, but I didn't have to make uh, a lot of different layouts for it. And um, it was a, a way for me to incorporate those pictures. There's lots of different styles of scrapbooking. And so as you discover what works for you, then you can choose, pick and choose what you want to incorporate into your own scrapbooks. Here's another example of a hidden pocket behind the photograph. I just popped up that whole frame and then had journaling behind there. The little tag on top uh, lets people know to pull that out. The poles for tags and hidden photos can be made out of all different kinds of materials. In this particular one, it's just a little metal uh, embellishment that I used for the tag, uh, but you can use other pieces of cardstock, beads, uh, little pieces of clay, any uh, flowers, really anything that you like that goes with your layout. And uh, sometimes I'll have it written on there for people to pull something out or to take it out. And other times it's just part of the layout and, and uh, only if people know that it's there do they uh, understand that there's it's an interactive element. 
This one page layout is a 12 by 12 layout that's been framed. There's no glass in the frame and that allows people to take out that little tag that's up at the top and it says, I think it says pull me. Um, and then the journaling is all hidden behind there. I made a little pocket for it to go into and it doesn't detract from the overall layout. As scrapbooking has evolved, there are a lot more products available for people to use to make more interactive elements. And these are all from close to my heart. They're called memory protectors, flip flaps, and they come in a variety of sizes. That's the small package, and they range in size from two inches uh, by two inches uh, up to four by four. And then there's regular six by six protectors, regular four by six protectors, and then there's a large package that has an assortment. Um, then those are all 12 inches long um, and varying uh, widths and uh, there's other companies that make that kind of product as well these just happen to be from close to my heart so with that type of product you can use it for a photograph or journaling memorabilia other types of artwork keepsakes any kind of thing that you'd like to there is an adhesive strip on the top there that I stuck down onto the layout the actual layout you can use those and stick them directly onto the page protector the big page protector but in this case I wanted to have it on the layout and I made a slit in the the larger the 12 by 12 page protector and at the ends of the slit I punched two little holes so that it wouldn't rip um, when that uh, little flip flap is being lifted or inserted so on this part of the layout, I did make a big pocket for a little booklet to go in. It's kind of hard to see, but I used foam tape and popped up the matted photograph. And then there uh, is a little tab with ribbon on it at the top to pull that in and out. And there's quite a bit of journaling on there that I, I didn't want it to be a part of the layout, but I wanted it to be available there. Another way to include additional photographs without having it be an actual part of the uh, first vision of the layout is to make a pocket and then have an extra piece of paper that you stick in that pocket. Uh, this particular pocket was made out of a transparency or an overlay and then the photographs were adhered to both sides of that extra piece and, um, and journaling could go on back there as well. This last layout is a two page layout that's 12 by 12 uh, on each side. And um, I don't have it in the album yet because I wanted to show how uh, this particular layout goes together. There's a very large photograph underneath there that I wanted to include in the layout. And I already put it inside the flip flap and that's how it's going to adhere once it's in the um, page protectors for the album. But I didn't want to have that picture be all by itself in a, in a different page um, altogether. I wanted it to be included there. And uh, so I, I thought that it was a better way to do this to have it be telling the whole part of the story um, and just be able to stick that down into the, the page protector once it's in the album. I appreciate you spending your time with me. This is Beverly from scrapandthread.blogspot.com. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment or visit my blog. Thank you.